Hi, it's Sam on What You Ought to Do, and today we are leaving St. Ignace Marina in St. Ignace, Michigan, where we spent a lovely four days here. Had to stay a little bit extra to uh, take care of some weather concerns we have, but we're going to be en route to Beaver Island, and we'll either dock or we will anchor, so we'll see what will happen. But since we've been here, we were able to take a trip over on the ferry to Mackinac Island. We were also visited by friends Larry and Steph who brought us coffee, muffins, and also brought us a delicious smoked whitefish. So thanks to Larry and Steph. We were also visited by Patrick of uh, Marshall's Fudge. He has, uh, they have a family business there. He drove up from Mackinac City because he saw us on the AIS and Nebo and uh, came to say hi and brought us some really neat, sweet treats. Uh, and, and we have just been enjoying those and thanks to Patrick for stopping by. Today looks like the weather is great. We have winds out of the west southwest about 10 knots so we'll be kind of heading into them a little bit. But the uh, sea looks flat, the lake looks flat so to speak. Uh, you've got a lot of room between us and the Customs and Border Protection boat here next to us. These are nice wide slips. Had a really good time here, St. Ignis. <laughs> Looking good, Sam. Go forward more before you turn or you will hit their boat. That wouldn't be good. How are you looking on the front? Forward, forward. You're looking good. Beautiful turn all the way now. <laughs> okay, beautiful. No, 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 no. Okay, he's, he's going a little forward. Okay, I'm going out, I'm on the side here. And, see the, um, yeah. So, there's a boat at the fuel dock. I don't see anything coming around here. Hi, Sam. How's the depth here? Great. 15 feet. That's fantastic. All right. Nice. That sign says danger thin ice <laughs> on the rocks. Way to stay alert, Sam. All the all the time. I be alert all the time. <laughs> Head on a swivel. Yep. Right in front of us is the Mackinac Bridge. To the left is Mackinac City. And then over here is where we came from, St. Ignace. And behind us, back there, is Mackinac Island, or Mackinac Island. It depends on which generation you were born in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the Mackinac Bridge connects the uh, Michigan with the Upper Peninsula. And it is a pretty grand bridge when you take a look at it. We came here through here the last time, and it was so windy. There were tons of ferries going across from the island, Mackinac Island, over to Mackinac City, and it was just nonstop. We were dodging those ferries. It's pretty quiet today. Yeah, it is. We still got a considerable amount of wind. We probably got about 15 knots of headwind as we're going along here on the way to Beaver Island, so that's going to affect us. But at some point here, once the engines are uh, totally warmed up, 
we'll put the here's to us up on plane and we'll estimate probably getting in there at about uh, oh, 2 30 3 o'clock if we can shave some time off depending on the wave action here I see white caps out there yeah there's a white cap there there we got uh, definitely one uh, to two feet and the swells uh, period's not too bad so going, we're going right into them which is a little bit more comfortable than getting hit on the beam because uh, it just kind of throws the boat around but uh, not too bad not bad at all yeah great day on the loop this weekend there's been a sailboat race not here the chicago one was last weekend but this uh, this weekend is the sailboat race from Port Huron over here to the Mackinac Island area. So we've seen a lot of sailboats around. along these islands up here and but there's a lot of shoals as well and so when you read through the notes that uh, are in active captain and navionics you know it kind of scares you because you see uh, okay depths up to 18 feet uh, it says rocks awash depths up to 18 feet so you're gonna have rocks out there and it's not a fun place to go so uh, unless you really know the area best to stick to uh, planned uh, anchorages that most people go and near marinas and that's what we're going to do we're we're heading into beaver island and we thought we were going to have to anchor but it seems like now that we have a slip at the marina the municipal marina there has two docks a north dock and a south dock so we think they're going to put us in the south dock but we'll give them a call uh, as we get probably an hour out and just confirm everything up uh, way we're going to uh, which way we're going to go so kind of smoothed out here so uh, I think it's about time for food and beverage service don't you <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> we have talked to the marina here it's a municipal marina they have two uh, locations a north and a south we are going to the south and we're going to uh, attempt to maneuver around and do a uh, stern in there on the long wall she gave us the option and so rev likes to have a port tie so we will do that and i've got a ferry coming out of there wherever that ferry's going 
who knows when the ferry's going, but we'll stay out of the ferry's way and uh, get in there and explore the town. Thanks to uh, Larry and Steph, they gave us a whole bunch of stuff that we can explore and look at. So we are looking forward to our stay at Beaver Island. Talk to you once we're tied down. Beaver Island is a very interesting place, a lot of history. It's at some great restaurants, actually rented a car, went all around the island with our friends from Mo Whiskey and climbed a lighthouse. Thanks for coming along on this trip.